Are you an alcoholic? Do you think you have a problem with alcohol? It's not always easy to tell when your alcohol intake has crossed the line from moderate or social drinking to problem drinking. Drinking is so common in many cultures, and the effects vary so widely from person to person. It can be hard to figure out if or when your alcohol intake has become a problem. However, if you consume alcohol to cope with difficulties or to avoid feeling bad, you're in potentially dangerous territory. But the question is, who is at risk for drinking problems? Experts have yet to identify why some people develop problems with alcohol, but they do know that certain factors can increase a person's risk. For instance, alcohol use disorder runs in families, and certain genes make people more vulnerable to drinking problems. In fact, people who have a sibling, parent, or child who abuses alcohol have three to four times the average risk of developing a drinking problem. While problem drinking can affect men and women of all ages and backgrounds, it is more common among men than women and is most common among those aged 18 to 25. However, women can have alcohol-related problems at lower drinking levels than men. If a man and a woman of the same weight drink the same amount of alcohol, the woman will have a higher level of alcohol in her blood, putting her at greater risk for harm. Alcohol abuse is common in people older than 6 to 5 and can be especially dangerous for them. Alcohol can interact with medications and is responsible for many fall-related injuries. In young people, alcohol and drug use can lead to car crashes, suicide, and homicide. In addition, people who begin drinking at an early age are four times more likely to develop alcoholism than those who begin drinking at or after age 21. Having another mental health problem, such as severe anxiety, depression, or a personality disorder, increases the risk of abusing alcohol. By some estimates, 37% of those with a drinking problem also have a mental health condition. That's important because treating these problems is often an integral part of overcoming alcohol addiction. Now let's know the signs you may occur in you if you have a problem with alcohol. Check yourself. Are you wondering whether your drinking is on the high side of normal or if it's crossed the line into a problem? Think back on the past year. If any of the following scenarios seem familiar, it might be time to make some changes. You drink more than planned. You had times when you ended up drinking more than you thought you would or for longer than you were going to. It may not seem like a big deal if it only happens once in a while, but that shows you have trouble controlling yourself while drinking and it's an early warning sign. You spend a lot of time on drinking. We're not talking about just the time of the glass or can or bottle. In your hand, there's also getting the alcohol, feeling sick after you drink, and recovering from the effects later. Keep track of all your activities in a daily diary or schedule planner for a few weeks and take an honest look at how it adds up. Your tolerance has gone up. The usual doesn't have as much of an effect on you anymore. You need to drink much more than before to get the buzz you want. Your brain adapts to alcohol over time and can become less sensitive to its effects. You crave alcohol. There are times when you want to drink so badly you can't think about anything else until you get one. That strong need or urge can be triggered by people, places, things, or times of day that remind you of drinking. Certain emotions or physical sensations can also trigger a craving. When you have a drinking problem, your brain reacts to these triggers differently than a social drinker's does. You give up other activities. What is it that you do for fun besides drink alcohol? Think about the activities you use to enjoy, the issues that were important to you, and the ways you use to spend your free time. Has drinking edged those things out of your life or prevented you from doing them? You're dropping the ball on life. Can you think of more than a few times when you came to work with a hangover missed deadlines, or got behind on schoolwork because of your drinking. When your alcohol use, including being sick from drinking, often prevents you from keeping up with responsibilities at home, work, or school, it's a problem. It causes friction in relationships. You care about your loved ones, but you can't imagine your life without alcohol. Your drinking has led to trouble with your family or friends, or made problems worse, yet you continue to drink. This doesn't make you a bad person, but it does make it more urgent that you look for help to change your habits and get your relationships back on track. You have withdrawal. 
As the effects of alcohol wear off, you may have trouble sleeping, shakiness, irritability, anxiety, depression, restlessness, nausea, or sweating. Alcohol changes your brain chemistry, and when you drink heavily over a long period of time, your brain tries to adapt. If you suddenly stop drinking, your brain has to adjust again, causing these withdrawal symptoms. You could have been hurt. While you're drunk, your brain doesn't grasp the short-term and big-picture results that could come from poor decisions and getting into risky situations like driving, swimming, fighting, having unsafe sex, or walking in a dangerous area. Even if nothing bad has happened, yet this is a warning sign. Drinking is making you sick. Do you continue to drink even though you know it's causing health problems or making those problems worse? Alcohol can damage your liver, heart, brain, pancreas, and immune system, and it can raise your odds of getting certain cancers. Although you realize it's harming you, a physical or emotional dependence on alcohol can make quitting hard. Maybe you've been concerned enough that you've already thought about or actually tried to cut down on your drinking, and it didn't happen. Alcohol masks unhappy emotions, so those feelings may come back when you quit drinking, making it harder to stick to your goal. If you try to abstain, but then obsess over alcohol or switch to another drug or behavior, that's a red flag. Any of these things could signal an alcohol problem. Don't feel bad, but do consider cutting back on drinking or quitting altogether. Talk to your doctor, a therapist, or a counselor. The more things you said yes to, the more important it is that you take action or seek help from a health professional. So guys, I hope this information will help you most and stay healthy with Health Coach.